Welcome to the woods. First one of the year. Not coffee, but video. So we got through uh, 2020 and it's a brand new year. And I wanted to have a chat about the difference between a want and a need. This time of year, a lot of us, either now or in the past, would have uh, had New Year's resolutions. And in the past, a lot of the time, they wouldn't have worked out. We would have stopped, given up. Doesn't matter what it was. Could have been eating more healthy, giving up smoking, cutting back on the drinking, whatever. There would have come a point where the end goal either wasn't worth the effort or a problem would have come up, an obstacle would have got in the way and we would have quit. And we've all done it. We've all promised ourselves that we'll uh, do something and then not follow it through. And it's usually because that end goal is a want and not a need. When I first went off grid, doing this was a, was a want. Something I wanted to do and I had to turn it into a need. <clears throat> because unless you do that, there's going to be problems, there's going to be issues that arise, and you're likely to stop, to give up. Let me give you a, an analogy, which will show you what I mean. If I put a rope on the floor, normal two inch wide rope, 20 foot long, and told you if you walked along it, and got to the end, I'll give you £10,000. You'd all take me up on it. Why not? Even if you fell off, it's on the floor. And if you got to the end, you'd get ten grand. that would be nice. If I took the rope and put it 50 foot up, some of you would back out. Most of you would still give it a go. Ten grand's a lot of money. If you fell off at 50 foot, you might hurt yourself, but you'd probably be all right. If I then took that rope and suspended it between two buildings, a thousand foot in the air, and made it 50 foot long, and told you that the odds are 95% that you're going to fall off. I'll up the money the other end to 20 grand. If you make it across, 20,000. But the odds are you'll fall off. And if you do, you're going to die. Hopefully, most of you will decline the offer. The end goal, although it's quite nice, it's not really worth it. And it's that end goal that's important. It's got to be a burning desire. If I took your children to the other end of that rope, or your partner, and then told you that if you got across, you can go home safely, but if you couldn't, they were going over the edge. I don't think there's one person watching this that wouldn't make it across that rope. Come hell or high water. Because the end goal is that important. And there's things that 
you're going to want to do this year. For those of you that want to go off grid. Wanting it is not going to be enough. For those of you that are looking at doing bigger things. Wanting it is not going to be enough. It needs to be a need. It needs to be a, I have to do it. It needs to be that important. And then, the obstacles that will crop up don't really matter. I could have set that rope on fire and had Spitfire shooting bullets at you whilst you were crossing. But if your kids are on the other side of that and their lives are in danger, you'd still get across it. That's how important something has to be to ignore the obstacles. Don't worry about the problems, but concentrate on the end goal. When something becomes that important, nothing else really matters. The job will get done. So how do you change something from a want to a need? Well, there are ways. This has been uh, being done to you every day with advertising, with marketing. They're showing you things you never even knew existed and changing them into needs, into must-haves. And you can do this yourself with things you want and to keep them in the forefront of your mind because that's all advertising does. It's repetitive. It shows you again mm -hmm. and again and again. And always links it to positivity. So every time you see that food blender, that car, that item of clothing, it gives you that little feel-good factor. That's what you want. That's what you need. So whatever it is, if it's building a cabin in the woods, if it's building a community, if it's giving up smoking, if it's cutting back on the drinking, you need to make it a must-have, a must-do. You need to make it a need. You need to do it. Whatever it is you want, Write it down. Write it down. It affirms it in your mind that it's important. And now look at that every single day. If it's an item you want, get a photograph of it. Put it up on your mirror or on the fridge. Sounds silly, but you're going to see that every single day. Look at it. Visualise it. Talk about it. Whatever it is you want to do, talk about it with your family. Talk about it with your friends. Tell them what you're going to do. None of us like to look stupid. And If you've told ten people you're going to do something... It will help you do it. Write it down. Talk about it. Visualise it. Make it a need. And then the obstacles and the problems don't matter. Because I can promise you, there will be obstacles, there will be problems... But you can get through any of those if the end goal is that important. Mm -hmm. 
So here's to 2021. When we really make things happen. It's down to us. No one's going to give us anything. We have to do it ourselves. So no matter what it is, if you're doing it on your own, if you're doing it in a group, make it a burning desire. Write it down. Look at it. Get pictures of what you want. Look at them. Talk to people about it. And by the end of the year, it's yours. No two ways about it. Speak to you soon, people. Here's to the future.